Hey guys, John here. I'm working on some Emerson titanium handles today. Uh, customer ordered them with uh, like thumb grooves, you know, to access that thumb disc better. So uh, that's what I'm cutting right now. Already got this side done. Yes, yeah, so it's going pretty good. Um, these parts have already been tumbled and even anodized, but I'm going to strip the anodizing off. Um, so these new machine marks, they're going to be crisp from machining lines. They're not going to be tumbled afterwards. They turned out pretty fine, if I do say so myself. So I might... I'll take them off. You can see there's a little burr on the bottom there. If there's anything obvious, sharp edges or whatever, I'll sand those down, but I don't want to sand them so much that I kind of ruin the finish. Um, but yeah, I'll break the edges and make them nice. And then strip the anodizing off, and then I'm going to heat anodize these ones using a blowtorch. I've never done that before. Actually, maybe I'll practice on a piece of scrap titanium. I don't want to mess this up. Here's another set of handles that I'm doing at the same time. Clara found the garage door opener, she's in the car. <laughs> um, uh, these ones I've anodized ice blue, about 30 volts using multi-etch, they look wicked. And I'm gonna engrave my dragon scale lines into these. So these are the handles that I'm going to blow torch, and uh, I'm shooting for a blue-ish uh, heat anodized color. You want to try to be even between the pair if you can. Um, <clears throat> Low heat, very broad. I don't know, I've never done this before, but. Maybe I'll try on the back side. Oh, it's starting to turn now. Okay. Getting some water spots because I washed these off in the, in the house and uh, dried the water with the blowtorch, which is leaving these water spots. Um, so I'm gonna take some acetone and wipe them down. I know they're gonna be really hot, but. Yeah, got it up to temperature again. My racking wire is deforming.
really got to pump some heat into this. Okay, I must be doing something wrong with this one because you see I get this sort of dull purple color um, and I tried for a long time to heat this up and then I tried a uh, spare Norseman handle that's clean never been anodized before and I got these pretty sweet blues and yellows um, huge difference so I think the problem is these have been previously anodized to quite a high voltage and I didn't strip it for long enough in multi-edge so I'll just strip them again, see what, uh, I'll strip them for a while and see what we can do after that. Because this was relatively easy to get a very vibrant blue. You can see right in the center it went more white because I heated that more than the rest of the area. So these turned out terrible. I tried to strip the color off in multi-etch for 38 minutes. I know that's a very long time, but I wanted it gone. And this one started to strip, but left some areas that didn't want to strip, and this one didn't change whatsoever. So I think my only course of action for these is to retumble them um, to break the surface finish, scrub all the anodizing off basically, and uh, start over. So I'm going to start them off with a treatment of green plastic pyramids for uh, like a long time and then uh, see what happens after that. I might even polish them in the walnut shells for a while. However, the good news is, how did those turn out? Awesome! Anodized ice blue and engraved those dragon scales into them. Quite epicurious. Yeah, dude, those look wicked. Most definitely. So Eric's just breaking the edges. Because uh, if you run your finger along the edge where the engraving went over the edge, um, it's a little bit of a burr, so he's just breaking those off. Cleaning them up real nice. Because you have to engrave so slowly in titanium, those took about 30 minutes just to engrave. Um, but it's worth it because they look wicked. If one wanted, they could be anodized again at a lower voltage um, and get the, the lines would turn bronze, which could be pretty cool. But uh, I think they look better silver. Very powerful. They're in here somewhere. Oh, there's one. There it is. So I'll just leave it in there for a long time until the color's gone, basically, and I get a better surface finish. Could take overnight. I don't know. At this point, I don't really care. I'll do it, whatever it needs to be done to make them look nice. Now this is not going to give them a stonewashed finish um, like they were previously. But as I said, I don't care at this point. Just save them and make them look good again. So I tumbled these guys for three hours in the uh, rough media and it turned out looking kind of crappy and all the color wasn't really gone yet and it made an absolute racket. So uh, I gave up on that <clears throat> and I ended up uh, scotch brighting them to this super shiny smooth finish which I love. Remember these are getting dragon scale lines anyway so the surface will be kind of broken up by that. But now I am positive I'm looking at bare titanium. Just absolute raw titanium. I'm going to wipe them down with acetone again. And uh, yeah, I did show you this one, right? This was, it's fairly clean titanium. I didn't clean it, but it hasn't been anodized. And that took a blue color really nicely. Um, I need that kind of color for these handles. All right, let's try this again. I'm going to preheat them real good and then Get some color, hopefully. Starting to get some bronze on this one.
Starting to turn here. I'm actually getting it red hot in some places. Kind of freaky. Like right there. Right there. Holy crap, that is red hot. And right there. This looks cool though. How is that, my friends? Yeah, that is, wow, that is so cool. Now to do the other side exactly the same, or as close as I can get. All right, so here's what I'm thinking. This one is too perfect. It looks too much like anodized aluminum. Or, sorry, anodized titanium. Um, oops. It's too even, the color is too perfect. I'm too good at my job. Um, the purpose of this uh, anodizing session is the customer requested heat anodized blue handles and then we're going to gray the dragon scales like we did with the other ones and then uh, electro anodize the lines into a bronze color to give a cool contrast between a totally even bronze color and like a splotchy anodized uh, heat and uh, anodized look so I think I might just heat them up in a few more places. Like the bottom one here has some whiter spots in the middle. Uh, but you can't really tell. Top one's pretty even. I don't know, I don't want to ruin them, but on the other hand, I want them to look unique, you know? Hand flame anodized. So I'm finding out that different amounts of red hot equals a different color. Um, you get it to a dull red and you get a blue. You get it to a cherry red, like about like that, and it cools off into a lighter yellow color. And you get it to almost white hot and it turns green like this other handle here. Um, very cool stuff. This, this is kind of a lot of fun to play with. Super bright light, and uh, it'll turn kind of green. Maybe it's yellow, I can't really tell in this light, but. let that cool off and see what it looks like. So to rapidly cool them down, I've got them mounted between two fairly large chunks of aluminum. 
Uh, aluminum sucks heat away really quickly, faster than stainless steel or titanium. So, Next up, I've got these guys mounted in the machine. Going to engrave my dragon scales, and I know that's going to take uh, just over half an hour, so I'm going to go inside and watch a movie. And have some ice cream. Yum. Oh boy. These look wicked. Wow, they look so cool. But being the perfectionist that I am, there are noticeable problems. You look really close. You can see that the engraving edges are pretty... Um, I'm trying to think of the word for that, but they're rough. There's burrs everywhere. Um, this is a brand new uh, ball mill that I'm using, a 1 16th ball mill. My speeds and feeds are perfect according to G-Wizard. I actually made them more conservative for this run. Uh, 6,000 RPM, 4, no, um, 6,000 RPM, 1.5 inches per minute or something like that. Uh, and an eighth out depth of cut. Um, but there's a simple way to fix that that just takes some time. I'm going to run it again, one thousandth of an inch deeper, which is like nothing. Um, and then it's just going to do a super light cut. It's going to clean up, clean up what's left. Oh, they look sweet. As I suspected, that last little pass uh, got the lines to look quite a bit cleaner. So I think we're good for machining. I'll pull them out. Um, not sure what I'm going to do next. I think I'll email the customer a picture, as they are right now, saying, do you want me to leave them silver, or do you want the lines to be anodized bronze? Um, silver pops more, but bronze will be uh, more subtle. So we'll see. This might be the end. If it is, uh, thanks for watching. This was a cool little project. A lot of extra work into these. But, uh... Eh, when I have the time, it's fun to do.